Hello cheapskaters, I'm Kath Armstrong, creator of the Cheapskates Club, where our goal is to live life debt-free, cashed up and laughing. If this is your first visit to our channel, welcome. And if it's not, welcome back. Every day, every single day, I am asked, how do I get my grocery bill down? It's something everyone wants to know, especially these days with inflation putting um, you know, pressure on our food bill and almost putting food on the luxury list. Your grocery bill is the one bill you have absolute control over. You and you alone decide just how much money you spend on groceries each week. You choose what to buy, the brands you buy, the quantities you buy and where you buy those things. So with those choices in mind... Here's an outline of the strategies you can use to get your grocery bill down. Number one, clean, organise and inventory your pantry, fridge and freezer. The lot. Now, it doesn't have to be complicated. And Chiefskates Club members can log in and use the downloadable inventories um, on the tip sheet page. Number two, Decide how much you are going to spend and set your grocery budget at that amount. It doesn't have to be the amount you are spending right now. You can try trimming last week's grocery bill by 10% to start if you want to get it lower. If that works, next time you shop, take another 10% off and see if that works. Keep doing that until you find you aren't buying everything you need or the family's complaining and then add 10% and stick to it for a few weeks. If that amount works, great. That is your optimal grocery budget. If after a few weeks you find it doesn't work, add 5%. See if that makes a difference. I'm not crazy. I know that prices are going up and up and up, sometimes every couple of days. But you can control your grocery budget and this is an easy and very simple way to get started. Number three, create a meal plan. This is a biggie and so many people don't. Whether it's weekly, fortnightly or monthly, you need a, a, you need a meal plan. <laughs> it's easier to work a meal plan to fit your shopping routine if you shop weekly, meal plan weekly. If you shop monthly, work on a monthly meal plan. Again, members can log in and download the current month's blank meal planner and if they want to, my meal plan for the month, it's archived on the Cheapskates Club website and that might inspire them or it will definitely make meal planning a bit easier. Number four, collect the junk mail, the local papers if you still get them and get online to find the store ads. Use them to write your shopping list and more importantly to familiarise yourself with the um, sale cycle <laughs> and just what comes on sale when. Now I know junk mail is pain but when it comes to hunting out sale prices it really does make putting a shopping list together so much easier than trying to juggle three or more web pages. Number five. Stock up on staple ingredients. Every family has different staples, ingredients that they always have on hand. Use these um, staples to start your grocery stockpile. Buy one or two extra staples each time you shop and stock up when they come on sale. Things like ingredients for baking, meat, breakfast cereals, toiletries, cleaning supplies, canned or frozen foods, they're all usually staples in most homes and they're a good starting point. And remember, what do we say? We say ingredients give you options. Even when it comes to cleaning products and toiletries, if you're making them yourself, ingredients give you options. And number six, last, donate your extras. Cheapskates live by the 10, 10, 80 rule. We give 10%, we save 10% and we live off the remaining 80% of our income. 
Use some of your stockpile to donate to food banks and soup kitchens in your area. Put together hampers for families that you know that might be struggling a bit. You can, you can do the knock, knock and run. You don't need to hand it to them. You can do it anonymously. And you don't need to give money. You can be generous with your time, with your skills and your energy too. So that's six things that savvy shoppers know and do regularly to keep their grocery bill down. Before I go, thank you so much for watching. If you're not already a subscriber to our channel, click that subscribe button below me and then click the bell and select how often you want to be notified of new videos on our channel. It helps YouTube, but more importantly, well, it helps our channel. It helps me. It helps our channel. It helps our channel to be um, recognised more easily. And the easier it is to find us, the easier it is to spread the message that it is not only okay to live life debt-free, cashed up and laughing, but that it is perfectly doable, even in the crazy times that are 2022. One last thing, if you know someone who might like this video, there's a share link. Click that share link and it will go straight to them. Then it's up to them. We don't harass them. We don't send them anything. They just get the link to the video. Happy cheapskating, everyone, and have a great day.